Now, as China's economy struggles, young people are increasingly turning to social media to vent their frustration at the workforce. Most are expected to work long hours for less pay amid a struggling economy. Some millennials and Gen Zers are posting about their plans to quit the corporate culture and travel. East Asia correspondent Kathleen Calderwood has more. Chen Zijun is learning how to put up a fight. <laughs> But not that long ago, she had no fight left. I felt drained. I kept on delivering. I didn't have time to rest or learn something new. This type of work and life is not what I want, so I chose to quit. Sejun is part of a group of young people choosing to opt out of China's relentless work culture. She decided to naked quit, meaning she left her job without a backup plan in place. And she's been documenting that journey online. Still, there are lots of people who choose naked quitting. If the situation is not improved, naked quitting will only become more popular. Of course, the young people would feel burnout. Most of their awake hours are, are just work with limited material return. On the back of the pandemic, China's economic growth has slowed amid an ongoing real estate crisis and high youth unemployment. At the same time, a record number of young people are graduating from university into a competitive market. There's this new phenomenon that they call work-life integration. And just in a way, forget about your personal life. Every aspect is permeated by a workplace culture. It's hard to know exactly how many young people are opting out of the rat race, but a survey by a Chinese social media app found that around 70% of young respondents weren't afraid of quitting without another job lined up. However, this path is only really available to those who can afford it. If one is from a not well-off family, then it's simply not possible to disengage. You have to take the best job. It, it might be below the job you want, but you take what job you can get. For now, Zijun is trying to figure out what matters to her most. Through Muay Thai, I'm exercising every day to keep myself in a good headspace so I can make a better decision for my next step. A personal battle anyone can relate to. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News.